there. Absolutely insane. Today we'll be reviewing all intake options for your non-ME46 and we'll make a baseline using the stock air intake box or intake silencer as BMW also calls it. Then we can go ahead and install the KN panel filter drop-in and being that they call it a silencer, well, maybe if we do a Swiss cheese mod, just drilling a lot of holes in the stock box, maybe it won't silence the air that much. And we also have the classic cone filter, which we can just bolt straight to the math. Being all this is budget oriented, we have something to test whether or not it's uh, actually worth it because this one is a lot more expensive. The KN cold air intake kit, complete with all mounting hardware and everything you'll need to install it on your car. And here we have the parameters we'll judge all these intake options by. First up, a price. Then we'll do a 50 to 110 kilometer per hour sprint staying in the same gear, third gear. And we'll also try and judge the sound. And here we have the OE filter box. Now the OE filter box is already a cold air intake. You have air coming in here from the front of the car and you have air coming in here from the front of the car as well. Let's go install the stock filter option here because then we'll be able to test the sound and well, how will it perform? And from then on, we can judge the rest of the options from this. And the OE install is honestly super simple. You simply slide it in kind of like this so that this one here sits between the headlight and the radiator. There, now I hit the alignment uh, rubber piece down there. Then I should be able to just push it down here, push this over, and then just tighten it until it seems like it's enough. It doesn't really have to be tightened all that much. Then we can hook up the MAF sensor again. Now it's all installed. It's bolted down, MAF is hooked up clamp is tightened and the bundle of wires is in place. Now it's ready for a test. Back from testing the stock filter and the best we managed to do in terms of 50 to 110, well, that was 6.19 seconds. In general though, it sits right at around 6.225 to 6.3. So this was a little bit of a hero run, so to say, but there was also a slight uh, decline as well on this run. Not enough to deem it invalid in terms of this uh, draggy measurement, but there was a slight uh, decline. Uh, pretty respectable in my opinion. And sound wise, well, uh, sound is stock. Let's just call it that. I really like it, but um, Let's go ahead and install the KN panel filter, which is a much uh, pricier option than both the OE and OEM stock panel filter. But would it also translate into better sound or better performance? And here we have the KN filter. Now KN themselves claim that it will add uh, some uh, power to your car just by swapping this in. Comparison wise against the stock filter here and OEM Bosch filter, well, it's quite a lot smaller really. But overall footprint though, that is uh, the same. Install wise, it's uh, really super simple. We just open the stock air filter box, uh, remove this, slide this in and close it back together.
and back from testing the KN filter, well, it's the most pricey option of the budget options. Performance wise though, it's actually uh, the same. Same. And sound wise, well, it's a little bit deeper in its sound, a little bit louder too. I'll just write deeper, slightly louder. Good. Let's go ahead and test the Swiss cheese style intake. And as you can see, I've just gone ahead and drilled a hell of a lot of holes. Now BMW calls this intake box also an intake air silencer. And the idea behind this is that if we drill a lot of holes, maybe it won't silence the air so much. A benefit of this is that it will appear stock looking. So for those of you that uh, can't modify your intakes legally, well, if... Now for maximum amount of sound though, I have gone ahead and drilled holes in the upper part here as well. But I also had to then cover it with some heat reflective tape because if you don't, well, then you'll have unfiltered air entering and coming through your math here, which then would maybe ruin your math or at least let in unfiltered air into your engine, increasing the wear. Now, we could just go ahead and keep using an OE or an OEM filter, but being that we now know that this one here adds a little bit of sound as well, well, we'll install this instead and then go for a drive. And back from testing the Swiss cheese mod, well, a good thing is that it's a free mod, so to say. In terms of performance, well, uh, there were no noticeable performance increase, but really, uh, why should there? On the flip side, though, there wasn't any decrease in performance either. The 50 to 110 uh, stayed at the same levels. Now, I'm running uh, in a bit of a cold weather. If you were to run it during the summers, then well, maybe there will be some heat soak. I honestly don't know, but uh, keep then uh, in your mind that, well, you have just uh, drilled uh, a lot of holes in your stock intake box, so hot air will be able to enter it more easily. Whether or not that actually will happen, I don't know, and uh, I haven't tested it either. What I can say I have tested is, well, it's uh, even louder, it's not a lot, uh, honestly, but it is uh, noticeably louder than the stock system. Louder than stock. Where this here, same. With all that being said, let's go ahead and test the open style cone filters. Now this one here is a generic one which cost $50. I'll just bolt this straight to the MAF and then tie it in place, leaving the lower intake box in place as well. That way it will be able to sit just on top of the box attached to the MAF and will be able to test it whether or not there is a sound difference or maybe even a performance difference. It is kind of flapping about here. Again, this is just for testing purposes. I know this is gonna look like, yeah, not good, but whatever.
having tested out the open comb filter and uh, even though I paid somewhere around $50 well you can get them both cheaper and pricier and some you might even be able to get with a heat shield uh, thus the price will also vary. Just make sure that you buy one that actually has an opening that fits your math or at least uh, has some kind of way to at least attach it to your existing math sensor. Otherwise it will be unusable. 50 to 110 kilometers per hour. Now I wasn't expecting any performance increase and lo and behold it's the same honestly. I wasn't able to detect any uh, differences. Uh, it uh, just uh, sets the exact same times 50 to 110 kilometer per hour sprints as uh, all the other options have done so far. So what isn't the same though is the sound. It's uh, even louder than the uh, Swiss cheese mod. So we'll just write uh, even louder here. It, it doesn't really sound that much different, just louder really. Uh, that brings us to the final intake that we can test and that is the much more expensive uh, KN cold air intake kit. In general it consists of a heat shield which has an opening for the stock intake track here to let some cold air in. This opening is where the filter will sit and it even has a small brace here which attaches it to the inner fender. Also it comes with uh, this filled strip here or this uh, weather stripping here and uh, finally well uh, it does come with a uh, uh, intake tube here where you attach the uh, hoses for and even a coupler here to attach it to the actual math. Voila the KN is now installed. Honestly uh, super easy whether or not this will translate to any gains I don't know it should uh, translate to at least some sound but Install is actually pretty easy and it is uh, somewhat sturdy once installed as well and you still have the factory cold air intake coming from here as well so so far so good. Okay, so back from testing the KN cold air intake kit, uh, a lot more expensive than all the other options. We did manage to set a new record though. 6.08 seconds, a full 0.1 seconds off the stock baseline. And sound wise, well, it is even, even louder. Or should I just say it's the loudest. But here's the thing about this new best time here. Well, if we compare the stock time to the new best time with the KN kit here, you'll see that it's on a bit uh, steeper decline, which affects the acceleration. Uh, all the other times I tried, it turned out to be in the same ballpark as the stock system. You will be able to hear it though, that is for sure. Have you installed something that you thought uh, worked really well for you intake wise? Please let me know in the comments though. Nevertheless, I did uh, <laughs> kind of by accident end up with some uh, amazingly uh, sounding uh, footage. Uh, go ahead and uh, check it out yourself and then you'll know what would it actually sound like if you had your ear close to the intake while driving.
absolutely insane. So what is the best intake option for your car? Well, it depends really. Uh, do you just want sound? Well, uh, the $500 uh, KN kit will deliver uh, the most amount of sound, but just slapping on a regular cone filter uh, will also net you somewhat uh, the same sound. So you could do it uh, a little cheaper uh, doing it that way. And if you have uh, issues with uh, not being allowed to modify uh, your intake system, well, you could try and hide it by Swiss cheese drilling your intake. I don't really feel good doing this, but for bro science. Uh, but there will maybe be consequences in terms of heat soak, or at least there will be hot air entering the intake if you're driving in a lot of start and stop traffic, maybe all that. So keep that in mind that it might have consequences. Also, uh, the KN panel filter here, while it does add a little bit of sound to the stock system, well, uh, it's also pretty pricey, actually. Um, you could buy a hell of a lot, uh, either OE or OEM filters, uh, before you hit the, the price of the KN panel filter. I'm gonna install the stock system again because, well, it's uh, the fastest of them all, or at least equally as fast as the KN cold air intake kit. And uh, sound-wise, it doesn't sound bad, it's just that it's not as loud as the others. And again, I can go ahead and change the filters whenever I want for a very low price. That's it for this video here. If you found this video helpful or interesting, please consider liking or subscribing. Thank you for watching. Bye.